she wants to lose weight and she wants muscle tone. So what are some fitness assessments that are going to prove to her that she's lost weight and that she's maintained or developed muscle tone? Skin folds will be one of them. We can do a strength assessment. We could do a muscle endurance assessment, like a push-up test. You're seeing this stuff here in the Google Doc? We've got a half crunch test, skin full caliper. One thing that I want to clarify, people don't know what body composition is. Body composition is about losing fat. It's a comparison of your lean mass to your fat mass. So we're trying to lose fat. Would a scale be something that we would want to use to show fat loss? No, and too many trainers do that. What happens if Melissa is on her period when you're post-testing her and she's retained a whole bunch of water? Or what happens if she's, you know, got a full bladder? The scale's gonna measure total mass. It's not gonna show you difference between lean body and fat tissue. It's a reliable instrument for mass, but it's not a valid instrument for weight loss. So what we wanna do is we wanna do skin fold calipers and we want to do girth measurements or a hip to waist ratio. For this gal, girth measurements, because she's only, if we take a look, 27% body fat. Now, this is another thing that's, that's good to know as a trainer. When girls come to you and they want to lose weight, they're not going to be able to give you a percentage of body fat. They don't know what that means. They just want to look good. They want to look good in a bikini. That's typically what a lot of them are after. Well, what that means is in the range of 16 to 18% body fat for a girl, typically. Some girls look great in a bikini and they're 26% body fat. It just depends on how the, how the curves go. Here's the difference. A girl that is 26% body fat, when she puts on her clothes, she'll look in the mirror and she'll say, I wonder if these pants make me look good. A girl who's at 16 to 18% body fat puts these pants on and says, I can model these. I make these look great. That's the difference. That's what we're looking for. We want to train our girls so that when they look in the mirror, they're like, oh man, thanks to Ethan, thanks to Iggy, or thanks to Caitlin, I make this stuff look good. That's the body fat range that we're looking for, is 16 to 18% body fat. Guys can get lower. Girls, if they go lower than 12% body fat, then they start to have menstruation issues and things with endocrine system going on. Guys don't really start to have negative effects, serious negative effects like that until they go down to, according to the research, till they go down past 3% body fat. But I will tell you from personal experience and also empirical evidence from being in this business for 17 years, that when you take a guy from 6% body fat down to 3% body fat, the amount of muscle mass they lose is not worth it. It's substantial. There's a lot of muscle loss and then there's, you know, you lose the libido too, right? Because your hormones run off of cholesterol and fat. If you read through your NASM textbook, you're going to see all sorts of stuff on postural assessments, dynamic and static. You'll notice I haven't really talked about those in this particular class because our client is not paying us to help her with her posture. We don't need to do a cardiovascular assessment on her because she's not interested in improving her cardiorespiratory fitness. She's interested in losing weight and looking good. So we need to make sure that the assessments that we pick are ones that prove to the client that she's obtained her goal.